So I just watched Venom The Last Dance and uh, these were my reactions throughout the movie. What were they thinking? Saudi! Um, the beginning. Why did they change the the way that Venom or Eddie is sent back to the Sony verse? If you saw the if you saw the post credit scene of No Way Home, you they sh they show how he gets like dustified by the spell that Peter creates, and that's how that's how the other villains were brought into the MCU, and that's how they were brought back to their worlds. But and then that's what we saw with Eddie and um, the post credit scene of No Way Home. But in this movie. They, they change it to where there's like a portal opens up and he gets like sucked through and it's not a Doctor Strange portal it's like it's like those multiverse portals you see in the beginning when the when the symbiotes the Null is sending out symbiotes and you see the symbiotes go through a portal that's the kind of portal that sucks Eddie through the back to his world I don't know why they made that change but we see, we see the the beginning and the middle kind of drags up. They drag on a lot, and we have to get we have to get Eddie from point A to point B somehow. So they go. So he wants to get to New York because he thinks maybe Spider Man can help. And they they get on a plane, and I don't remember what the what the alien the symbiotes that um, Noel is sending to get Eddie. We, we, one of them lands on the plane that Eddie and Venom are in, and as, and as soon as they get attacked, they ditch the plane while it's falling. So I'm assuming that all those people died. And then, I don't remember his name in the movie, but the Special Forces leader, <coughs> <coughs> that's how he uses, that's what he, that's what happens to get him to closer Eddie in Nevada and I don't remember the um the two professors or the the one with the dead brother and then the one with the Christmas tree pin and I don't remember the special forces leader I don't remember any of their names because that's how much the movie treats them they don't really give them a reason for you to care about them and they don't really give him much backstory. Venom, on the other hand, oh, okay. They somehow end up, and they somehow end up with a family that offers them to take them to Las Vegas, because Eddie just needs. He just needs to get somewhere. The story here wasn't... I don't think the story here was really thought out. I know there was a lot of... Um, production issues with the movie. There was a lot of reissues for sure. Like... Like that whole ending. That's a whole reshoot they did. Two months before the movie came out. And... It's like... You... We, we, we also really didn't need a family in here. Like, you could cut a lot out of this movie. Let me talk about the Las Vegas scene. We have a... We have Mrs. Chen come back from the last two movies. And in this movie... This whole Las Vegas scene is just... For you to see Venom appear in his full self again. Because by the end of that scene, he just gets kidnapped by the Special Forces anyways. And it's like, what the heck? Like, he didn't need to do all that. Like, I feel like Venom sometimes in these movies acts more of a nuisance. And it's... Like, you can have, like, an like an, a nuisance character. But they can still have their moments. And he... I, he does... Venom does have moments in this movie where, like, he shows some, in, like, some, like, strategies. But you don't get them a lot. And it's like... Venom's just like, 
going with the flow. He like he's not thinking of what he's doing. He's just he's just acting before thinking. And you really feel bad for Eddie in this movie. And all of the movies. All of the movies are like constant constant like Eddie's miserable life. And I just wanna go back to that family in Las Vegas. They we got the actor for the lizard in the Amazing Spider-Man movies. He's playing he's playing a dad, a hippie dad with a hippie family. And the daughter doesn't really care for them and then the little brother is just f having fun. And they they get, it gets to a point to the movie where like we 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 think that we won't see them after the last after Eddie gets to Las Vegas, but they appear again in the end. They, before the before the third act starts and uh, the dad's just like the the kid goes inside the fence like they go they get to area 51 and the kid goes in the broke in the broken fence to go inside the perimeters and uh, instead of the dad saying like hey like son come on this very dangerous area the dad's like okay let's all go in and the family's fine with it no, like no one objectified. No one objects. They're like, okay, let's go in Area Fifty One because it's being decommissioned. I haven't seen the. Uh, I haven't seen Let There Be Carnage since it came out, so I don't remember if that was a plot point in like the last movie where Area Fifty One was going to be decommissioned. But in this movie, it's decommissioned. But no one knows about Area Fifty Five. Area Fifty Five is underground. No detection of any human or any alien. Blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> but there, like there's so much that could like and then by the end it, when they're doing the third the third the final fight the final fight with all the symbiotes coming out I thought I don't know I feel like there could have been a better way to end the trilogy the trilogy than just a bunch of symbiotes coming out it's like like not not that long ago, we not that long ago we had a movie that did the same thing, eh? a superhero movie, Deadpool and Wolverine. Eh? The end of the movie, a bunch of Deadpools come out and they fight main Deadpool and, and Wolverine. Now you now Venom's not fighting the symbiotes in this movie; they're coming to help. But it's like, like we can have a different way of ending the movie. Like we want to make the movie like have a big climactic ending but i'm sure there's like other ways to do that besides a bunch of symbiotes coming out to help all the other symbiote dogs or the predators symbiote hunters i think that's what they're called symbiote symbiote hunters and seeing all the symbiotes were cool i guess they're funny like it's only up until then where you're like oh i'm watching a venom movie oh my god other than that, you don't really get a sense of like, there's not really a lot of Venom in this movie. It's more like Eddie, and they they give you a reason why, because Venom and Eddie have the, this codex linked to them that can revive Null, because Null is in, a, in this like really secured prison that the symbiotes made for him. And he's been stuck there for who knows how long. He wants to get this codex that Eddie and Venom has have on their neck because Eddie was killed in the last movie or in the first movie and Eddie and Venom revived him so now they're like linked with this codex that you get granted and if one or the other dies the codex dies so when so when they're when they have their climactic battle the the family is on top of this tower in area 51 and that's when they meet this, that's when they reunite with Eddie. They're like, oh my God, Eddie, you're an alien. Oh, nah. And the tower starts to fall because something, I think one of the symbiote hunters like bumped into it or, an, or some, an explosion went off. And it's just like, every, the dad's like, everyone like calm down. And then like the tower is falling and then the whole family's freaking out. And it's like, dude, like, like you put like, you put them in this situation, and why didn't the mom say anything? I don't know. But Eddie saves them. I think. Eddie Eddie saves them, and after that, the alien, the family doesn't. We don't really see the family again after they escape in the truck with the professor. Except we see we do see the dad at the end. 
pull out the the missile, the rocket grenade launcher, I guess, and like blow up one of the symbiote hunters. <laughs> and that's the whole purpose of the family. It's just to blow up one of the symbiote hunters. Because Eddie doesn't really learn from them. He doesn't really grow with, by being with them. So it's like they really they don't really have any other purpose besides padding the wrong time. And just like the Las Vegas scene. I, I don't want to get too much with the La Las Vegas stuff. Like you could cut that entirely from the movie and nothing would change. Except like the except when Eddie gets caught. And so I'm just gonna get to spoilers. So there's gonna be a spoiler warning. Spoiler warning. Venom dies in this movie, and they they do get some emotional beats out of the movie. And uh, I mean, if there there's definitely fans for this movie. If you're a fan of this movie, if you like the last two movies, you're gonna like this movie. I don't really like the other movies. I didn't really like this one, but I still came in with an open mind. And I will say that the, um, if you're if you're really super invested in the relationship between Eddie and Venom, you will be invested with Venom's death. You, he he gathers up all the symbiote hunters. He he gets under like a, like a system of acid rain. And he lets all that acid flow on top of him. Let it burn, let it burn, let it burn. And I guess somehow that's what kills the the symbiote hunters. Plus Venom, the symbiotes, of course. But the symbiote hunters were made to be indestructible. But that's what kills them. And yeah, it's like it can be pretty emotional at times. The ending, the ending. But then, it's like, it, it, if it flash forwards to like a scene where Eddie wakes up, he's next to a US Marshal, and the, the general is like, Eddie, you can now resume your life. Never tell anyone about this to a single soul. And then Eddie's like, oh, I, I need him. Anyways, Eddie, good luck and uh, future good luck endeavors in your future life. But don't talk about this to anyone. Uh -uh. And so he he wakes up. He goes to New he goes to New York, and uh, Memories by Maroon Five starts playing. And I'm not against the song. I like the song, but. I mean, it fits well with the movie. Like, th these whole three movies have been, like, che nothing but cheesy, like, mindless, like, action and the slice of life. Action, slice of life. And I, I feel like there was no better way of finishing this movie. Memories by Maroon 5, and then having, like, flashbacks of, like, the last three movies while Eddie is remembering Venom. Masterpiece. Absolute masterpiece. Scorsese. I don't know what you're talking about. This is cinema. But anyways, uh, I was actually surprised for how much they got away with the PG-13 rating because there was a lot of blood. When those symbiote hunters eat you or eat something, all the blood or whatever comes out of their necks. And... Uh, what did I forget? Just like... Usually PG-13 movies are allowed with one F-bomb, but I think this movie had two F-bombs, which isn't isn't like anything special, but it's like PG-13 movies usually have one. I think this movie had two actually, I, I'm not sure, but it's let's just say Venom The Last Dance was definitely a movie to be, it had to be made just for like, Sony to like finish the Venom trilogy. Hopefully, Venom. I don't know how they're gonna bring Venom back for Spider-Man Four. I don't even know if he'd be in Spider-Man Four or like a post-credit scene. I don't know how he'd ever come back for a future movie, unless you know he get unless Eddie gets a new um symbiote and it's like the son of Venom. But that po that post-credit scene at the end. Dude, also, it's like, 
what are we setting up? What are we setting up? Who is Noel gonna go up against? Spider-Man alone? I don't think so, Tom. Like, I know you're the new Spider-Man and you're all, like, tech gadgety, but I don't think you can go up against Noel, Noel, Noel at, alone. So they're definitely setting up some kind of Venom and Spider-Man team-up, right? Right? I don't know, man. Um, Venom The Last Dance. I'm not gonna rate it. I don't really, I don't really rate movies. Did I like it? No. Would I watch it again anytime soon? No. Hey, but if you like the last two movies, you're gonna love this one. And I would recommend you watching it if you love the last two movies. Other than that, if if you if you did not like the last two movies at all, you're not gonna like this one. That's all I can say. Anyways, my light keeps turning off. Don't know what that means. Probably means this video is too long. It's going at 16 minutes right now. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching my review on Venom The Last Dance. We'll be posting another review soon talking about the Blade News and Spider-Man Noir photo, uh, wait, um, set photos, set photos leaked. Other than that, guys, please subscribe. Appreciate you watching. Appreciate the subs. Please share me around. I'm just a guy talking about movies. Other than that, guys, see ya. You guys have a good night. It's Friday night, actually. This is going to be different than my usual content, but I'm going to show you guys around. Anyway, see ya, guys.